Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm starting another tutorial series on Git and GitHub and understand what exactly is Git and GitHub and how to use it for the automation code that we have written till now and push it to the repository or GitHub repository. So before we get into the details, let's first quickly understand about the version control. What exactly is version control? And then you will be able to correlate with Git and GitHub very easily, right? So when we talk about version control or code management into software industry, what exactly it means is say, for example, you are writing a plan so let's take an example of the testing space because we are making this tutorial especially for the testing code that we have developed till now so say for example you are writing a test plan right and the test plan is a word document which has a template and let's for example i create a test plan for my project right so what i'll do is i will first start with draft right so i'll create a document i'll open it i'll have certain details there so if i'll open this particular document and say for example this is first line right so i have written a first line there and saved it right so after saving it now you can see that this particular file has been saved now tomorrow i want to change something in this particular plan right so if i come back and open it and i want to add another line here say for example right or another line added a couple of more lines and saved it right so once i save it it has overwritten the original file and now if i have to basically keep doing it in the same file and five days down the line i have made a lot of changes in this file right so let's say i am i have done a couple of more changes here and saved or overwritten this particular file right so five six days down the line if i want to see what exactly was there in this file on the first day when i started so i have no clue exactly unless and until i have very sharp memory to go and look into this particular document which might be 50 pages or if it is a big document it might be very very lengthy document and depending on the changes the amount of changes that you have done you might not not be able to figure out what was the content that I added on the second day what was the content that I added on the third day so all those changes if you keep overwriting the file are gone and it will be nightmare for you to recover that that's the first use case of basically when we say version controlling now the manual version controlling what you can do is you can simply say for example on first day you have started with draft on the second day you have updated certain changes and instead of draft you are saying this is version 0.1 right and this is your second version or the next updated version as soon as you have finished working on this if say for example on the third day or in the afternoon you have done certain more changes you can simply create a copy and then you can say v0.1 and then maybe you start appending the time as well along with this version right so that's how you can say for example you you did changes at 4 pm so you added something like that right so version 0.1 or you can start with name and then timestamp so this is how you will be basically doing the manual version control of any specific file within the projects and that's how you usually do the version controlling now coming back to the code or the development that we have done this concept is not going to work because any project that you would have worked on there are many many projects or uh, there are many many developers that work on piece of code or or the functionality and then there are thousands and thousands of lines of code that are being written for the project or for the package to be done or for the software to be built so how can version control be done for those sort of development so if we go back now git is the distributed version control system so before we go to the distributed version control system let's understand what is version control first so let's go to git and they have explained all the details very clearly there right so on the git website you can see it is a free and open source distributed version control system don't worry about these terms 
becomes distributed version control system you will understand everything so version control you have already understood with the clear example that i have explained with the document file now if you go to the documentation here link here and you have this pro git book which is online available online so if i'll open this we'll go to this about version control now if you want to read all about git and master git this is the book that you should be going for but in terms of automation in terms of testing whatever is required in git for you to work as an automation architect or as that i'll be covering all of that right so if we go to the version control so here in the version control we have the first one which was the local version control system now manual version control is what we have just understood now in order to avoid this manual version control the version control or the local version control system was introduced wherein the issue of manual updating those programs and code that can be handled so what they did is they had this simple database that will keep track of the versioning of the files that will be done right so this is how the local computer version database so there is a version database you basically check out the file update and then check in and the version will be maintained within the database so that's local to the computer now because this was local to the computer if there are multiple developers who want to collaborate then that was a problem with this local version control system and because of that the centralized version control systems came in picture so what centralized version control system is it's central server so basically there is a central version control server this was the local server so local machine you can say your laptop or desktop whatever in central version control server there is a machine which is central to the organization which is connected through the network right on on that machine there is a version control server and developers need to basically were able to collaborate with this central version control system so if say for example there are 10 developers working they can check out the file on which they want to work and then update the file or add the feature and then check in the file back to the central version control server now what were the disadvantages in this particular case it has some serious downsides the most obvious was the single single point of failure now because all your code was stored in just one single point or single server central server if this server got down or failed all your code is gone or all the data or all the code that you have written or your team has written is gone right so single point of failure was the biggest dis disadvantage and if the server goes down then during that hour nobody can basically collaborate at all or save the version changes so this was the biggest disadvantage in this particular central vcs server now that's where distributed version control system came in picture and in distributed version control system if you'll see this picture what exactly happens is you can you can see that git is one of that distributed version control system which is very very popular right so there are others mercurial uh, docs etc but git is very widely used now what happens in distributed version control system is there is a server computer which has all the version database right and then if say for example there are developers working within the team there will be a computer or each person's machine will have all the information or all the details about this version database locally available as well okay so each person who is working within your team will have the local copy of that code now say for example you would have been following my tutorial series on selenium with python so whatever code i have written till now once i'll check in that code into the github which is the cloud git repository then if 50 of you are cloning that or basically using that code and updating that code then when you are using git you will be having the local copy of all the version control information or details into your local computer so even if this server computer crashes someone of you will be having all that copy into your local machine or most of you will be having who will be working then we can then restore the look the server computer with the local copy from one of the developers machine so that was the whole advantage of having the distributed version control systems so each computer will have the full copy of the code that is there in the server machine now distributed version control system why was it developed right so it was developed by lena store 
Torvalds and Linus Torvalds is the computer scientist who developed Linux, right? So Linux kernel was written by Linus Torvalds as well and he wrote Git as well. Now the reason for that is you know that Linux is open source and there are thousands of developers worldwide who collaborate and basically they support that particular project, collaborate and contribute to the Linux project. Now with the central version control server, that was a big problem because thousands of developers when working with the central version control server, it always required the uptime, the server maintenance and the network connectivity. If this central ver version control server went down, the collaboration within thousands of developers who are working on the Linux kernel and adding the or doing the contribution or adding new line of code or feature that used to go down. And that was the whole reason Linus Torvalds came up with the idea of distributed version control system so that collaboration among developers become very easy and they do not have to wait for the server or the central server to do all the changes. They have the local copy of complete code that is available along with the version information and they can build or write more code on top of the code that is there in the central server that is also available on their computer as a local copy along with the versioning and repository etc which we'll cover all in the details and they can go ahead and work on the new features and then push in the code whenever they feel that the feature is good enough and can be merged back into the server computer right so that was the whole idea behind creating git by Linus towards so that the collaboration and contribution from thousands of developers to support the open source community can become easier and since then git has become the most widely used distributed version control system and it is so easy to pick up and use that you will absolutely love it so i'll walk you through each and every aspect of how you can start using git if you are the first person in the team joining the first you know project and you're writing the automation framework from scratch how you can check in your code for the first time or if you are joining the team as a software tester an automation tester and getting the code from the repository and updating or adding new scripts and how you can update or basically push in the code into the master branch so all of that will be covered it, uh, it will be absolutely fun learning with the real examples so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next tutorial so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful Thank you very much for watching.